if you look at the broader market today, if you look at how market reacted to something, it's what a wild swing today on the market. And I want to share with you in this video something that kind of caught my attention and uh, looks pretty juicy when it comes to AMC stockholders, all right? Because there was a shift happening and now the reality is kind of catching up. And that reality catching up with the market is actually something very good for AMC stockholders. Why? Because if you look at what happened today on the market, I mean, this is the Dow Jones. We had a swing of about what? Um, almost 760 points. That is 2.14% in one single day in just a matter of hours. All right. And what caused this whole thing? Because you look at this S&P, look at the Nasdaq, you, look, you even look at the Russell 2000. Look, the VIX is up more than 11% on just one single day. Why? Because of this. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell, all right? Wall Street slides after Powell backs aggressive rate hike views. So this is not new news. We already knew since March that the Federal Reserve was looking at being very, 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 very aggressive or awkish as they call it on, 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 on TV. You know, when it comes to what they're going to do to fight inflation, all right? So we already knew that inflation was high and we already knew that the Federal Reserve needed, it was a must to do something to bring prices down. So we already knew about the whole 50 points, uh, basis points, so 0.5% increase in the next meeting coming up in May. But now what is the market kind of puking again on this news? Because this is not Obviously, the first time that the Federal Reserve, whether it's the chair, whether it's other governors talking about this, all right? Now, the thing is, it is pushing the market down, especially the tech sectors. Why? Because now, it, I mean, since then, it was just like, you know what? Maybe, you know, it's a possibility, you know, is, yeah, there are chances that we might, you know, we might increase interest rates 0.5% the next meeting. But now... Now that people are starting to realize that, hey, this is not a like an if thing, it's real. Things are starting to get real. And because things are starting to get real, now it makes sense for some of these investors to start dumping some of the stocks. I mean, look, if you look at Enphase, all right, Enphase Solar Energy Company down today 12.3%. 12.3% on what news? You know, well, interest rates. If you look at um, Facebook, renamed Meta Platforms, down 6%. If you look at Netflix, it was already down 35% yesterday. At some point today, it was down 6% as well. So mm, even Tesla, Tesla that had, you know, major blowout earnings, didn't even, couldn't even hold the gains on the day. At some point, it was up 10% and poof, it managed to close around 3.2%. All right. Now, what is behind this thing is telling me that, well, things are getting real now. The things that people were kind of scared of or thought that they were kind of putting behind them, it's now getting real because what people may not know or what the market may not have priced in yet is the fact that, well, um, the next time they meet in May, they're going to potentially push for 0.5%. But after that, the next other meeting coming the, uh, the following month, they might already push that to maybe 0.75%. And what is going to happen the month after that, and the month after that, all the way till 2023? That is the unknown factor. But that unknown factor is actually shocking the system. And that's why today we're seeing all of these shifts because these type of stocks that are the favorites from the hedge funds, you know, and these type of, you know, companies that move a lot of money, actually, that are also shorting AMC stock, or the same type of companies that are shorting AMC stock also move a lot of money. So can you imagine just in two months, interest rate being at 1.2 or even 1.5%? And then going up later, move and move and move and, uh, 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 and more as we get into the latter part of the year, man, it's going to be devastating because on one hand, their positions on the stocks that I'll share with you, a couple of them is just an example of, well, in one hand, they're losing already money from their funds. That's why Melvin Capital Fund, you know, had to start over 
because he kept his he kept losing money since the latter part of 2021 all the way up to now all right and then in the other hand you have money that are going to be a lot more expensive that means debt is going to be a lot more expensive to sustain that means chaos for the other side and possibly i don't even want to think about what's going to happen when it comes to recession so the bottom line is as you see this shift from all these stocks from the technology sector that are kind of inflated, all right, or then are losing value significantly day after day, week after week, as we get closer to the Federal Reserve response, even though I believe they're going to recover, this is not good for the short sellers, all right? And that's why I'm saying you need to prepare because what is coming next is going to be shocking and it's going to happen fast. So you need to stripe your seatbelt.